Good afternoon, YouTube. It's Mario with George Page, aka the Emperor of Female Body Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, folks, so this is one of my comparisons. I hope you're enjoying your Labor Day. You know, I know, you know, it's just that one last holiday before <laughs> the end of summer. And uh, I'm about to go out and about in about an hour or so. I'm going to a little family thing, a little family get together. But anyway, this is uh, one of my comparisons, and it's back into the edition of. Flex and sex appeal. Yeah. <laughs> As I said again, I always try to recognize the amazing women sport of bodybuilder, their beauty, their style, their grace. I just keep saying this. I'm, people don't understand that women are women and women are beautiful. You know, they may not be the beauty that you like particularly, but they're the beauty that somebody do, do like. So anyway, I picked two ladies who've been competing for quite some time. One is a legend. One is a, a multiple time champion. She is uh just one of these women from she's from the um the country of venezuela a, La, a latina uh legend and she's also the first miss olympia to be a mom you know there's you know it's, it's like i said it's what about a bit not a lot of women you know are lucky enough and have the gift of having a child but she is and this is one mrs yaxini or orkin garcia and you know she is uh a miss olympia a five-time miss international champion she is a legend. She's one of, I would say, the most, most during her career, the most consistent competitor next to um, the great Miss um, Mary Ellen Warman, you know, who has been competing since the good part of the 80s and up to the, 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 to the 2000s. And right here we have a lady I've done a year before, one Miss Margina Zavalova. As you know, Margina, she is from the Czech Republic, and she's been competing for a good a good while. And, you know, Margina, she is like, just like, um, you know, um, Yaxini, a multiple time Olympic competitor, uh, the first two times as physique competitor, the last two times as a bodybuilder. And, you, and we all know that with Yaxini, you know, she has been on stage with legends like Iris Kyle, Linda Murray, you know, Laura Craval. You know, she even shared the stage with the current champion, Andrew Shaw. As you know, back in 2020, uh, female bodybuilding had made a return to the Olympia after being kicked out for after like six years. And, you know, back in the last time that Yalzini competed was at 2018 uh, Rising Phoenix. So she made a return in 2020 to bodybuilding after taking a year off. As you know, she has a, she has a gym in, in, in uh, Miami. Also, I think she also she does real estate. You know, there's a lot of bodybuilders in, in, in real estate, what I'm learning. And uh, Margita is very popular in the country of, um, of the Czech Republic. You know, she for when she started out, she was a figure competitor. But Vigil made switch to physique. And she has double dip. She has done physique and women's bodybuilding. And, you know, that's why I said she earned a qualification in the Olympia for both, you know, divisions. But she has a great look to her, very amazing woman. And both of these ladies are very beautiful women, very, you know, strikingly attractive women. Now, this is a show they both, they both did the um, 2020 Olympia together. But the problem was that they didn't have the right pictures I wanted. So I went with Margita's 2021 show. You know, which was she made her second uh, appearance as a bodybuilder. She won qualification at Europa Championship that year. Both her and um, uh, Salva Mate were earning qualification for Olympia at that show. And this is was, I will say, um, Yaxini's last Olympia performance is after the six years hiatus. After you, as we all know, the IB were quite behind women's um, bodybuilder and stabbing in the heart. And both of them are very impressive. I mean, Yaxini, you got to think about it. back then. You, as you know, on Young Jean's birthday was just a couple of days ago. She turned 56. And this was when she was like 54. This was like 54. Wow. You wouldn't think this woman was 54. You would think maybe mid to late 40s if you look at her. And I think Margita's about that. I think Margita's maybe in her mid 30s. But these are very impressive women. I mean, I mean, Young Zini has a great. I was, I was a fan of Young Zini. Clean. I think she had a beautiful body. You would see. One thing I wish she never get the breast implants. She had great pictorials back in the day. But these ladies have great definition, great particular um, um, physiques. I mean, you know, these are just amazing women. Here we have the front lat spread, and if you look at it, you know, mm, this is you. Know, I, I'm, I have to give it to Yaxini. Yaxini is just amazing. Her, you know, even like I said, she took a year off from competing, and then come back after, um, you know, at that year, and came and did pretty good. I think she, I don't think she, she might have cracked the top, top cracked the top ten of this show. And I believe, um, you know, and I think, um, mm, and uh, with the uh, Yaxini, I mean, sorry, Margita, she was very impressive. You know, I would say that. Here we have the front double. 
And I have to give it to Doxini again. I mean, look at the bicep development. Look at look her overall physique. This woman is just she just had a at 54. 54. She just was amazing. Because you know, her you know, her birthday was just in November. And you know, and she just turned 54 that year. I mean, damn. I mean, you know, you know, I'm not no, I'm not putting no shine against Yaxini, but you know. I mean, uh, you know, I think, you know, I mean, I'm not I'm sorry. I'm not putting no shine against um, uh, Margina. I'm sorry, Margita. But, you know, I'm telling you, I mean, it's just amazing. Y'all see his physique. Here we have the side chest. Um, hmm. This is kind of close. This is really kind of close right here. Um, if I go over our lines and what the judges are looking for, I think they'll give it to... Margita, I I I um, I want to say Yaxini because I'm being I want I'm being a bit biased, but I if I go with the judges going for, I have to give it to Margita on this one. Here we have is the rear lat spread, and I think with Margita she needs to work on really flaring stuff out, bring her shoulders up. Um, Yaxini back is amazing. I mean, you know what I mean, just look at her. I mean, wow. I mean, Yaxini, this is really. This is, if you know, the rear lat is, the lat spreads, front and rear, are the most muscular poses that women can do. That's why a lot of physique players don't do it, because it's not, you know, it's good too muscular for that division. But this is where this is of, of a great bodybuilder, and that's Yaxini. Here's the rear double. And I think it's a little slightly close. I think if you look at it aesthetically wise from the back, you will have to give it to Margita. You know, you know, you know, I think there's some um, little bit rippling, a little bit some um spots in um Yaxini's back, but you have to honestly you have to give it to Margita here. Here we have is a tricep. And to me, Margita looks a little smooth at the tricep. If I go who has a better tricep development, it has to be Yaxini. Yaxini looks amazing. I mean, like I said, you know, this was her last Miss Olympia. Well, after the 2014 show and her coming back and just representing bodybuilding. It's just, it's just great, you know, to see her. Here we have the abdominals. And, you know, like I said, uh, once again, I have to give this one here to Yaxini. I mean, you know, even at 54 years old, and being that she's a mother who has a child, who had a child, she has great abdominal development. I think with Margita, she needs to do a little work. You know, like one thing was some of the pictures I was trying to find, because, you know, my favorite, my, the abs and thigh is my favorite pose, because I love a great set of abdominals. And that's why I, I didn't, you know, couldn't really use the show, the pictures from the 2020 show with Margita, because the fact is they didn't have, even I was looking at some other shows she had, they, they don't really, she ever really take, I don't know if they don't take pictures on purpose or just, I don't know. It's really, I could really find the pictures of her Adam thigh, but this one was the, uh, probably her best looking Adam thigh, but compared to Yaxini, she just, you know, Yaxini just is the, is the, is the best. Here we have a nice bicep here. And again, I'm telling you, Yaxini is just amazing. I was trying to find a much more recent picture, but, you know, it's just hard to find because, like I said, she hasn't, you know, uh, been as competitive. And, you know, most times it's, you, you go, you go with your old school a little bit. So I have to get with Yaxini. Here we have from the back, the glutes. And if I said overall better set of glutes, I have to give it to Margit. I mean, you know, I mean, Yaxini is pretty impressive, but um, definition wise, the styrations you, you see, you know, you have to give it to Margita out the gate. Like, these are two amazing women who have been competing for quite some time. As you know, as I said again, Yaxini's been competing since the 80s. She has been competing for nearly 30 years consistently. Other, other than the time when she, you know, took a break in 2019 and came back in 2020 and did the Olympia and the Rise of Phoenix, she has been the most consistent female bodybuilder in the sport. I mean, you've seen other times drop and, and came back, you know, took a couple years off, but Yaxini's been always consistent. And Margita right now, we're not knowing if she's going to compete this year or not. You know, she, um, I think she might take a step back and probably focus on maybe making some adjustments because, you know, you know, bodybuilding is, is a big difference between physique and bodybuilding because she was double dipping. She had, you know, at the last year she did Puerto Rico Pro and she was doing women's physique. She jumped over to women's bodybuilding. She took, um, I think she took second at that show. And, you know, that gave enough points where, you know, she could have just, you know, by point wise, she would be already in the Olympia. But she earned her qualification at the Europa Championship along with Saba Mate. And you know, as I said, um, you know, um, with uh, Yaxini, you know, she while back she was she got married a few years ago. Yeah, that's why I go by Yaxini or Quinn Garcia. She was married before, and you know, she had a son with her first husband. 
and her son, I think he's about in his 30s now. You know, they're partners and, you know, they work together. She's a trainer. She trains other competitors. And I think also the same was um, with Margita. I think one time what Margita was, uh, was Margita Wing Street Ambassador? Oh, no, I think she was. I was trying to remember. But, you know, um, these are two impressive women. Beautiful women, great looks, great qualities about them. I mean, you know, like I said again, I'm a fan of these women of sport about women, especially women from, you know, we get from South America, like Mexico, Venezuela, you know, Central America and Brazil, and also women come from overseas, like, you know, you know, you know, uh Germany, Czech Republic, you know, those women just bring a level of muscle that's just amazing. You know, great qualities about them. But uh, like I said, um, I one time reached out to Yaxino Ken about would she have ever like could maybe promote her own show? She said, nah, nah, she wouldn't want to do that. But we can use, you know, we use more women like her, like people like Linda Murray and um, some other like Linda and um, Alina Popa, who can really step up for women's bodybuilding. And being that she's a legend, you know, some people felt like she should have been like one of a few more um, Miss Olympias than, uh, you know, but hey, you know, like this, you know, the judges, they, they have a lot of control when it comes down to the competitors and whatever else. And Margita, she has a look that's very popular. She's very, you know, attractive, very blonde, very Eurocentric. And I think that's what the guys love to see. You know, these women just are just amazing women. And that's why I, when I do these videos and I choose these women because I, I see some qualities about them. They're somewhat similar, but yet different. But they, they share a common bond, a passion for the sport of fitness and bodybuilding. And, you know, that passion and commitment is one thing that keeps this sport going. You know, people may not understand what these people do. They don't understand the sacrifices they make. But that's the thing is, if you're not able to make those sacrifices or stand up, then there's no point even, you know, you know, just, you know, just even don't put it in your mind, you know. But much respect to these both ladies. They're both beautiful music women, beautiful physiques, great, um, you know, athletes. And I respect these women. I love to do an interview with Margita. I think her English is not that good. But I know most definitely, um, I know a dear friend of mine who's a friend of with uh, Yaxino Keen, and maybe she can maybe <laughs> hook me up. Maybe we can do an interview with her sometime in the future, especially the first Miss Olympia Mom Champ. And um, you know, I'd be love to have her on my channel. But you know what? This is why I do this stuff. I really want to give attention to these beautiful women in the sport of bodybuilding. They're not just the beautiful physiques, but the beautiful personalities and their beautiful um, spirits. You know, it's it's tough. It's a tough sport for women to be in. And they still maintain their femininity and who they are as women, as athletes, as moms, and just overall, just amazing people. So much respect to these women who are part of my Flex and Sex Appeal Edition. <laughs> this is me on the Audio Page, a.k.a. The Emperor from Everybody Talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out.